Hello everyone, welcome to Education Tat. We are working on flowable series. We have talked about flowable BPMN, CMMN, and DMN so far in detail. But today we are going to cover very interesting topic and my favorite topic as well. Today we are going to talk about flowable UI and how to customize it. Be with me. It should be an interesting session for you. So when we talk about customizing the user interface, there are many ways in which Flowable can be customized. In this session, we are going to talk about two ways. One is to do in a no programming way and another one where we will be doing it within JavaScript. So the first hands-on session, I'm going to provide the link of this demo application on this description, but you can follow me along. What we are going to do, we are going to import uh, one application which will be focused on form model and then we will show how to customize it so let's look at it we are opening the design i have already downloaded this from flowable download page uh, about this application so i'm going to import it i'm going to choose and then i'm going to upload this from so here i have imported the file custom ui application.zip and this is very normal application with very few functionalities in it this is a case along with a single process with two forms so let's open the case in this case view as we can see that this is with two elements and a process that runs immediately and a case page a case page can behave like other CMMN elements. So you can have full control over when is it available or not by using entry sentries. There can be as many case pages as you want, but also case page can contain multiple views. With this example, if you look at its attribute, you can see some of the options for what may be configured some of the options are here you can also define an icon and display order for the case page and so let's open this form reference first so this is how it looks at this moment and then if we go back again to the case this is the form reference and in here we can see there is a simple process and in this simple process there are two tasks one is normal user task it is attached to the normal form whereas custom user task is attached to a different uh, unit of work so let's open normal form right so in here what we try to say like we want to create in in this view one we have the custom view link to the same form as the start form custom keys but more usually uh, you would define a much more specific and sophisticated form like an overall keys dashboard you can also define an icon and display order for the keys page set the icon to what you like and the index to one there is also attribute that define so how you can control these icons so for that you can go to the is and from here you can actually work on some of the things here you can set up an any icon that you want so let's say that i want to go with address and then i can also give some index to it maybe index is one There is also attribute that define what to do as the case changes the state. So the case view could be additable while the case is active, but hidden when it becomes complete. To define some additional elements to the custom view, click on the case pages, page elements attribute. Case pages element attribute. And uh, we can open a form from there. not this one exactly 
So to be able to open this custom view, what you need to do is you need to click on this. You need to go to the page element. When you click on it, you will see some settings of the page elements comes like this. In here, we have only defined one extra element, which is a custom link. Custom link that allows us to define where to jump if the user wants to navigate out of the case. There is a set of predefined types of element. We have selected an internal link element and defined the navigation to go to task mine. Like this, the index defines the elements display order. We have set this to zero, which means it will be at the top. The same approach as the index used in flow app dashboard pages. The next thing we need to look at it in the process model. So let's open the process model. Click on the process task so we can come to this task and open the simple process that contains two steps. Then first task as its attribute. We can have some of the attribute mentioned in here. We can uh, change to its label or something. For this task to show in the case view, the exposed to custom case view attributes has been enabled and so expose some more attributes, choose a label and icon and then set all index, all element in the case menu will be ordered by their index. Type. So for that, you can just come in uh, this place and uh, then from here, either you can search from uh, this option or you can just navigate to the priority and uh, in priority, you can check for due date category and task candidates type all users and exposed to custom view this option so we can we can actually uh, check this if exposed to custom view so what all label icon index we want to control in from here and then we can go and simply publish this application so we can just untick this from now we can go to custom ui app we will publish it and see how this is behaving in a real world scenario this is deployed let's open engage you know what to do next we will go and create a custom ui case in here so for that we know how to do it here is the third app which we just deployed and we can go for custom ui case we can provide some information and date so let's give some details here some data has been captured waiting for next date and the date can be today's date and then submit so this is normally a user task normal user task if you click it this one we see you could have a standard form components like this or a button to navigate an external page we can select one of the option in here so it says open somewhere with selection and if we click on it this takes us to a youtube page so this is how some of the customization you can do and some of the configuration that you may want to do and i hope this is useful for you let's get back and let me let me close this one let's come back to the design so here we talked about how to do the customization and how to understand some of the settings here i hope this was uh, an insightful session how to control some of the things while we are changing the properties let me know if you have any question on this